Delves are the new endgame pillar of WoW, coming in a war within, and they will offer something for everyone. In this video, I'll dive into everything you need to know about Delves, as well as give my thoughts and feedback after running them for two months on beta. First, let's explain what Delves are exactly. Delves are short adventures for a solo or a party up to five players. It is completely role agnostic, meaning you can play your favorite role, class and spec. I think the best way to describe them is to think of it as a mini dungeon with sprinkles of Mr. Pandaria scenarios on top of it. You've got trash, a boss at the end, but as you enter a delve, you get an objective that creates a story element and progresses you through a delve by giving a clear sense of purpose. You can sometimes encounter rare mobs, one of them is a cool looking mushroom, and gain minor powers from treasure chests that are not required to complete a delve but rather give you a tiny boost. There is a total of 12 different delves available throughout the world and you can do them as you leveling up. Each delve has unique look and feel and even multiple variations of a story and objectives that rotate daily. Making the same delve feel fresh next time you run it. The average length of a delve is 10 to 15 minutes although it will vary from spec to spec. Delves do have difficulty levels called tiers. Tier 1 to 3 are available while leveling. In fact, you can level on Delves if you choose to. And then tiers 4 to 11 are your end game content only available at level 80 during a season with increased difficulty and rewards. And of course, a secret 13th Delve, Zachary Slayer, is only available at tier 12 difficulty. It is a single boss fight similar to Mage Tower. Inside Dells will also be joined by seasonal companion Bran Bronzebeard, who is meant to help in a variety of ways. You can set Bran as a damage or a healer role, each with its own set of abilities. You can also customize Bran with a combat and an utility curio. The idea being is to tweak Bran to synergize better with your role and spec. As you progress Dells, Bran will also level up and get stronger, which makes Dells a lot easier over time. And because Bran's progress is shared per account, your ults will have an easier time in Delves. Worth mentioning, we'll be getting a different companion each season, which might mean a different set of abilities to choose from and completely changing Delves solo experience. Before I forget, I want to quickly touch on rewards in Delves. I do have a whole video on rewards I recommend checking out. But to summarize, the gear progression caps out at tier 8, so if you are only doing delves to gear up or fill your wall, then tier 8 is the highest you need to do. And the run rewards cap out a champion track item level 603, and the great vault will reward with a hero track 616 item level for completing tier 8 delves. There are plenty of transmog and toys, a dirigible mount as you progress seasonal journey, and of course warbound gear is also obtainable from delves, either a drop or vendor. There is also Delf's meta achievement you can complete and earn yet another mount. So what's so great about Delfs? One of the selling points of Delfs is that you can run it solo or with a party of up to 5 players. It is very clear that Blizzard is targeting smaller sized groups that are not interested in sitting in a queue looking to fill last spot. And if you decide to venture alone into a Delf, you can do it at your own pace as there are no timers and no punishment for failing to complete a delve. You can also run the same delve as many times as you want. Just complete a delve, come out and start a new one. No lockouts or requirements to level up a specific key first. It is precisely the lack of entry barriers that makes delves appealing to a diverse group of players. Whether you're a more casual player that likes to explore content alone, or somebody who has time to kill and wants a little solo challenge on the side, delves are perfect. Especially if you're trying to learn a new class or spec, it's an awesome sandbox adventure to train your skills. Previously, you would have to hit training dummy for hours or join a normal slash heroic dungeon and barely or anything as a group would move at a different pace than you and dungeon would be over before you start your rotation. It's not all easy content though. There is an increasing difficulty as you go up in tiers and eventually reaching Zachary Slayer, a 13th elf. And perhaps after that, if you feel brave enough, transition into Mythic Plus or Raiding. The biggest issue with solo content in WoW so far is that it's not challenging enough, and Delves solved that by bridging the gap between chill casual content and competitive group content. I want to touch on briefly on different roles and specs experience in Delves. As a ranged damage dealer, you want to avoid any melee attacks, and so any class with slows and or stuns is preferable. 
The melee did okay, mainly due to higher armor, but was still susceptible to ranged casts. And I would avoid pulling multiple packs with casters unless you can interrupt most of their casts. As a tank, the Delves felt the best. Bran was doing quite a lot of damage, so I could just focus on survival and CCing the mobs. The worst role in Delves is probably a pure healer spec. I would recommend a healer with some DPS capabilities just to help Bran focus harder mobs first while keeping yourself alive. Of course, all specs and rolls are viable, but just be prepared, it might take slightly longer on the higher tiers. Another few things that I've noticed that I think Blizzard should consider changing or improving in future Delph versions. Some trash packs take too long and Delphs feel overtuned because of that. Examples, Kriegel's Rest in Waterworks is a nightmare. Objectives in some places are also too long. I get that story and narrative is important, but do we really need to free nine earthen miners and not four or five and can brand maybe help with some objectives melee damage could be changed to fun abilities to dodge instead currently it's too much damage for range closed casters some attacks are literally a melee cast you have to run away from and this is quite hard for ranged without slows and finally i want to mention something that's on my wish list for delves there will come a time when we'll be done with Delph's content and there won't be any reason to do it until the next season. Unlike Mythic Plus, where players continue to push to the highest key possible until the end of the season, Delphs currently cap out at tier 11. I think what would be a really cool addition to Delphs is a timed leaderboard per class and spec. No rewards or titles, just the fun of doing it faster than someone else and the bragging right. There is a huge speedrunning community in the video games world and I think Delphs could easily tap into that niche very successfully. So in conclusion, it is safe to say that Delphs are the biggest endgame feature since Mythic+. Plus. They will absolutely revitalize World of Warcraft and attract a lot of returning casual players. War Within is just the first iteration of Delphs and I'm positive it will only get better over time. My name's Seto, thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.